Is your credit score over a 620? If it is, then you can afford this repair. Mm, kidding. Anyway, here's what we got today. Thought it'd be funny, you know, making fun of all of that. Uh, you know what I'm talking about stuff. If your credit score, Bob, who gives a shit anyway? So what we got here is a 2016 3500 with about 110,000 miles on it. This truck's gone through a weight loss program. So, you know, he's probably getting on a little bit and then he starts hearing a noise, especially when he puts on his exhaust brake. First thing I look at is the manifold, exhaust manifold gaskets, make sure we ain't got any leaking or any broken bolts. And guess what I find? Number one, cylinder, lower bolt, broke off right there at the head. Now, I've had a lot of people talk to me about when I do these jobs, why do I replace the whole manifold? Well, I'm about ready to show you why I replaced the whole manifold. But first, let's go ahead and look over here at the engine. So I'm gonna flip it around. So I've already taken off the manifold because I didn't want to try and show you the tracking, the carbon tracking when I did it. But if we look down across, number six was leaking a little bit, but it wasn't the main culprit. Number one was, you can see all of that carbon tracking coming out both sides of that. Now that happens because of heat. Heat generates in these engines and more so when you have them tuned because you're gonna you know, utilize your power a little bit more. Plus I believe this guy does quite a bit of towing. So a lot more heat is generated while, while towing. That is also the number one reason why I recommend doing the fleece coolant bypass is to help dissipate some of that heat out of the engine better, faster, and all that good stuff. So let's get to the manifold, all right? Over here, we have the exhaust manifold. Why is my light on? Well, I'm gonna show you that here in just a second. What we have here is a straight edge. So if we put this straight edge across the two, three, four, five, and six cylinders, it's solid. There is no gap underneath any of them. But now if we come over here to underneath number one, you can see the light through there. You can see I'm flat all the way across, but number one has a pretty serious gap. So I'm not gonna even take a chance on just throwing a, a new gasket cylinder there and trying to torque it down because then you're gonna end up putting the manifold under stress and it's probably gonna end up cracking on you. There are several aftermarket companies that are out there offering you know, two-piece manifolds and they're all excellent. It's all about what you can afford to do on your vehicles and stuff and unfortunately for this customer and in this scenario here i can only offer to do a mopar one now if you go to a different shop that's not dealership related then you can go ahead and do that or if you do have your two-piece or aftermarket manifold and you need it installed you can take it into your dealer and say hey i have my manifold can you put it on for me and how much 6.6 .6 hours is the total the, the total that you can be charged for this so it doesn't matter if it's aftermarket or not anyway i am going to make this pretty short i don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking about exhaust manifolds on diesels but they all suck there's better ones aftermarket go buy them take them in get them put on put them on yourself however you want to do it but heat is the number one killer of these exhaust manifolds and that's why i'm going to put a brand new one on here and not try and make this and seal back up here so anyway I'm going to let you guys get. Thanks for tuning in and later.